of the summer Me and my niggas slowly on the come up All the ladies wanna love us Baby grab a cup and get to sippin' This is celebration how I'm living. Ain't no way you finna miss it This gon' be the song of the summer Me and my niggas hey guys, welcome back uh, To the Come Up PDC podcast We got a special guest on today Mr. Jaime himself Yes sir, what's going on, yo? So Jaime, he's got, a, he's got a business he runs He started his own company So you wanna tell us a little bit about that? What do you do? Yes sir, Um, I do, uh, I do detailing on the weekends I just started that maybe about three months ago um, it's kind of just a hobby that turned into like a, a real life thing I really wanted to pursue. Um, so yeah, I really just decided to just push through with that and just go full fledged on that. Yeah. Damn, that's crazy. What's uh, do you do any like uh, exotic cars, anything like that? Uh, that's the plan. That's, that's the, the plan? plan. Yeah. Um, my plan is to just strictly work exotic cars, anywhere from ceramic coatings, paint corrections. Anything in the book, you name it, you know, from window tinting, uh, PPF, all kinds of crazy stuff. I want to be able, maybe three to five years from now, my plan is one day to just have my own shop and just provide everything and anything that has to do with cars and just anything with that nature. Yeah. Your goal, for your goal, do you plan on like franchising out one day, maybe even have like, like multiple locations? Um... I would love to. Yeah. I would love to. Yeah. That's I mean, I, right the dream would obviously be like just like anybody, be as big as possible. Um, God willingly, you know what I mean. It, it's just uh, it's part of the plan. But if I could just get one location and just, you know, just build my brand and build my name one day at a time, one detail at a time. I mean, I don't. I'd be fine with that too. You know. Yeah, you're yeah. starting right, man. That's yeah. that's what you got to do. You just got to get out there. I mean. Do whatever you can to get yeah. recognized. Come on, podcast stuff like that. You know what I mean, bro. That, and that's something I always tell people, bro. Um, because this, this wasn't a, this was a, a like a small vision of mine last year. But I always kind of had self doubt. Oh well, what are people gonna think? Well, what if this goes bad? What if, look the what ifs, you know? But I just, I, you know what? This year, 2022, was kind of like a year for me, a realization, where I just told myself, you know what? Um, this is the year. I'm um, going full fledged on this, and I. I just I took that leap, you know. A lot of people nowadays, and they they're scared to take that leap. They're scared of failing, but you'll never know until you try. And if you fail, get back up, continue going. You know. So. It's better to have tried and failed than never tried at all. Yes, sir. Exactly. Yeah. Yes, sir. What made you get into that? Um, like bro, what started it off? What started? Damn, since I was a kid, bro, I've always had a passion for for cars. Just like um, just like most people, you know, I, I grew up watching those Fast and Furious movies, and then uh, that that's what started. It. Then I got my own car, a little scat pack, whatever it was, and I just always enjoyed washing it. Whether it was cold, cold as hell outside, it was hot, whatever it was, I just enjoy washing it. If I took two, three hours, whatever it was, I just enjoyed it. So one day I just uh, already, I already had the passion for cars. I already enjoyed washing my own car. So I just told myself one day, like, why don't I just try out a business, you know? So that's that's what kind of was the start of it. Uh, what were the main things that you had to get for your business, like? Man, yeah, uh, you, you mean to I started like, up? Yeah, like I started up. up. Uh, well, my whole mindset, realistically, like as far as starting any business, you used to gotta start somewhere, right? Yeah. Whether it's barbering, whether it's videography, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. My whole mindset was like, buy once, cry once. You know what I mean? Like, if I buy this machine or this product or whatever that cost fifteen hundred dollars compared to something that was two hundred dollars. Hey, I, it might hurt now, but in the long run, it's going to benefit me and it's going to last me a longer time. Yeah. So that was kind of my mindset. So I spent a good chunk of change. Uh, I don't know the exact amount of time, the, the exact amount off my head, but a couple, couple, couple grand, a couple grand, yeah. When you got to you got to put everything into it, man. I mean, yeah, that, that's one thing that a lot of people don't know is like, you think you could just start something off a of talent, like. Like you gotta put everything you have into it, yeah. honestly. Yeah, it'll, it'll come back. Yeah, and 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 that's something. Uh, like even even since I started, bro. Like, don't get me wrong. There's still days. And I'm sure, like anyone, just like going to work. There's some days you don't want to go to work. But I feel like, for me, there's still there's some days where I'm like, man, do I want to get up and do this car? But it's like it's something I signed up for. There are days I wake up tired and I'm just like, man, I don't want to do this. But it's just a mindset you gotta have. And whatever you're doing in life, you just gotta have that mindset. Like you gotta keep going, and, and that's the plan. Yeah. You know, and, and anything you do, that's the plan. As long as you don't give up, you know, just that's that's what it's all about. I like that, and that's the cool part about kind of working for yourself and not working for like a company. Yeah, is I'm sure I'm sure like you originally had those feelings where you wake up and you're like, oh, I don't really want to go to work, but this time this time around here, I got a lot more excitement towards it, huh? Yeah, when yeah. you wake up, you're like, fuck, this is yeah. me. I'm gonna do it. Yeah, no, for sure. Uh, I enjoy doing it. Like just recently, the past couple of months, you have a couple of weekends, you just 
scorching hot, like crazy weather. Oh, yeah. And I, I, I had I didn't pay no mind to it. I was yeah. still out there, you know, getting it in, doing my stuff and that's what it's all about, bro. Yeah. So oh, for yeah. the people who like are don't know too much about this stuff and who wanna get into like car detailing, what would you say is like the main five things that they should know don't give Getting them tips just tell them uh, <laughs> yeah you can come see me dm me i'm always open to put everyone up on game i feel like everybody and everybody and anybody should win no matter yeah, what yeah. you're doing but i mean for me nobody's really uh nobody really taught me too much bro i kind of everything just just youtube i just youtube all kind of stuff i just stood up long night just looking at videos studying products studying strategies uh certain things what works with this what works with that and stuff like that and um yeah, I just started buying stuff, testing stuff out. Um, I mean, just like any side hustle, you're going to have people that aren't going to want to show you. You're going to have people that kind of, oh, well, if I show you, you might be better than me. Yeah, so yeah. I kind of took it as, you know what, I'm going to put myself on game. And that's kind of where I'm at right now. I mean, I'm nowhere near where I want to be, but I'm proud of myself of how the how far I've gone so far. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm with that. Yeah, hell yeah. So what's your favorite car, Doug? Um... Damn. Everybody's got a dream car. Uh, dream car. I mean, I would say Lamborghini like everybody else, but dream, dream car. I, I would. I, I like old schools a lot. I, I would yeah? choose like a a '62 Impala, a oh, right top. Right. Yeah, right top. Yeah, SS. Yeah, all chromed out. Yeah, that's like awesome, awesome hydraulics. Yeah, yeah that's pretty sick. Yeah, yeah bro. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, when you when you do cars, like I'm sure you get to ask this question a lot. Like, is it a, is, is there a difference between cleaning like black and white cars like are, are the darker colors kind of a bitch to clean or, uh, or not clean but like uh buff out and everything like that yeah yeah but well, just like everything of a black car is is, is terrible to wash especially <laughs> in, the, in the sun luckily like the water i use is spot free water so i can leave it in the sun and it won't leave no water spots but nonetheless i mean uh the darker the paint uh the more you have to pass through with the water so you can cool down the, the paint i know it sounds kind of like like you're doing extra but it it, it, it really uh how do you say it um i don't know benefits. i guess i just yeah it just benefits the the car in a way where it helps you out finish faster you don't have to go back and, and do second steps and do you double know take work. longer double the work yeah so and coming up bro that's the difference between you and a lot of people is a lot of people are just they have their 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 car detailing businesses stuff like that where they they're just kind of trying to get people but like your thing is is you give a shit like you care about like, each yeah. individual products like yeah, you'll use different products on different cars yeah, and yeah. stuff like that and that's kind of like yeah. that makes you stand out that's I, the elevates you. I, i'm really tedious about that my whole thing is like um it's kind of like even if it wasn't my business just me as a person i feel like if i have my name on the line i feel like i don't want to look bad so it's the same thing that's kind of the same mindset i push as my business i want to uh even if Whatever I'm charging, and I know I'm taking longer than I need to be to make profit or to make money, whatever it is, I don't mind taking going the extra mile for my client because I I care about my clients. You know, I want them to be satisfied with the with the, whatever service they book me for, whatever they ask me for to the the outcome of everything. Um, that's what that's kind of my mindset on every car, whatever car it is, whatever you know, whatever the the project is, I gotta do. Yeah. You know, so yeah. Uh, you, have you done in like any lowrider cars or anything like that? Um, nah, bro. Yeah. But it's coming. Yeah. It's coming. Yeah, I, I can't talk too much on it, bro. But yeah, yeah I, I got a lot of heat coming. Um, at the most, I've done like a like a nitrous uh, Corvette. Okay. Um, yeah. What else? Uh, I did like a like a full bolt on uh, what Scat Pack last weekend. Um, nothing crazy, bro. You know what I mean? I mean, one day at a time. You know, I just started, so I don't expect. <laughs> Just like a lot of things, I don't expect my business to grow overnight, but it just at the end of the day, it's kind of like, um, uh, I got, I feel like I got something to prove, you know what I mean? Uh, I got kids to feed and I'm, I'm hungry, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's all it is. So man, kind of like, uh, going back to your business, what, what's, what's your next step? Like, what's your next goal going into my like plan on getting yeah. like more workers, more vans. Uh, well, my well to get more workers, my plan is to like kind of get like a fleet deal. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the winter's coming up, so the obviously it's gonna be raining a lot. When it rains, obviously a lot of yeah. people aren't gonna be out washing their cars. Um, so in order to, to still make money through the through the uh, winter off season, season yeah. off season, um, our plan is to get a fleet. 
obviously these big companies got like 20 company cars whatever mm -hmm. it is trucks vans whatever i want to kind of book some uh some contracts with those and that that way i could bring in other employees as well um but my main thing right now which i hope in the, in the next year um i want to get certified to do uh ceramic coatings and paint corrections that's my, nice. my biggest thing and then my next thing is i want to get a van because mm -hmm. right now <laughs> I have like a 1984 truck and oh, yeah. no AC, you know. Yeah. But it's part of the journey, awesome. bro. It's, yeah, awesome. it's part of the journey. Yeah. You gotta start, start somewhere. You have and to start somewhere. What, what, what kind of vans are you looking at? Like a Nissan, a uh, Ford? Because I know that's typically what most uh, yeah. detailers use. Yeah, I like the Fords, just not the comfort. The, the yeah. price is good, but the comfort's not all there. I, I, I kind of like the Mercedes ones more. Well, the, but yeah. the that's price what I was going to say. Yeah. The Mercedes, yeah. they're expensive. But they're expensive. That one out, huh? Yeah, <laughs> yeah well, that, that's the plan. I, I, would, I don't want to just have like a regular van. I want to yeah. wrap the whole thing, mm -hmm. you know? So And like your logo. Exactly, stuff, yeah. exactly. I mean, also pulling, not only your work has to be professional, but also you as a person, how you pull up, how you present yourself. So yeah. that's another big thing as well. Yeah. That's true, man. I mean, you don't want to pull up and like, like a yeah. like a nineteen something yeah, man. Yeah, well, don't be talking shit been, now. Yeah. He just said he that's what I've been right now, <laughs> man. But, yeah, I'm saying, I'm saying, I like, hear you. I hear like, you. what's your what's you've expanded yeah. and everything, yeah. you know? Yeah, for sure. Cool. Yeah. What kind of what kind of products do you use on the cars? Um, that's low key, dog. You mind your own business. No, nah. no. Nah, well, I mean, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I, I okay. Just, oh, where, where do you get your car supplies from? Oh, uh, yeah. 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 No, no, no. Um. So I get all my supplies from this shop in uh, Covina called HCO, H2O Auto Supply. Nice. Um, they got everything and anything, bro, from products, anything, bro. Just you heard that. Free shout out. Yeah. Free shout out. Yes, sir. Um, as far as products, uh, Coach Kemi, that's like one of the top brands. Mm -hmm. uh, what else? Gion. Anything, bro. My towels. Everything. I've, I've just got like, you know, name branded, really top brand stuff because uh, for what I'm charging, I want to obviously yeah. you know. so you're exactly. not you're not really fucking with like those known brands like uh chemical guys adam's polishes uh the, like, Ad adam's polish is not that bad as far as detailing chemical guys is really uh top down on yeah. they're overpriced and the, and the work is not not the best so yeah. a lot of people kind of just like despise and downgrade chemical guys so i don't really use them yeah so right now basically you're just uh you do like shampoo seeds all Everything, full on bro. interior it's yeah just, the, you're not uh doing or are you doing the ceramic coating in the paint? Not place? yet, bro. Not yet. Um, he just I'm, said he wants to get certified. Yeah. yeah. I, once I get certified, get all my polishers, get all my pads, everything. That's the next step. Um, but right now, yeah, I do anything from steam cleaning, seed extractions, clay barn seals, just a simple uh, interior and exterior wash, um, vacuum, anything, bro. Anything, anything outside of a uh, paint correction, ceramic coatings, I do currently. Yeah. What do you think? Like some of the challenges are gonna come with like when you do start doing that paint correction? Because I know that's like. That's a bitch to do, and that, oh. that that probably takes some skill too. Yeah. Also, applying the ceramic coating, you got to go side to side and on some swirl shit. Right, right. There's yeah. a, there's definitely technique to it, but it's something I wanted to learn, put the put the time into, and like really, you know, just uh, perfect the craft. You yeah. know. Have you tried um, it at all? Like, have you tried it? I haven't tried it, bro. No, no I haven't tried like it. With your friends' cars or no. something? No, like your that. own car. And I, shit. I don't want to. Yeah. If I want to try it on anyone's car, I want to try it on my own because the last yeah. thing I want to do is mess up yeah. someone else's yeah. car. Oh, okay. Sure. So that's yeah. I'd rather let my car be the test dummy and you know let it go from there. But I mean, you seem pretty knowledgeable. Have you like dabbled in like other stuff, like window tinting, anything like that? Um, nah, bro. Oh, yeah, but I just, big, huh? I just kind of, yeah. I, I see window tinting and I, I see all that stuff, and that's something I want to offer more. That way, when I do get my shop. Uh, when I do have other employees, you know, I, I, I'm not just getting booked for uh, for uh, a simple car wash. I yeah. got big plans, man. Yeah, big oh, plans, yeah. bro. Yeah. It's yeah. going to be car wash, tent place, titty bar. <laughs> <laughs> what the yeah, fuck is titty bar? The three for one special, you can't beat it. Yeah, you know? see? You yeah. already know. Why you get your fucking car wash? Why you get car wash? <laughs> oh. Don't, don't hire Danny. He's going to be there in a white shirt, bro. Like... <laughs> <laughs> what shirt contest and shit? What t-shirt <laughs> contest and shit? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but going back to it, man. So what? What made you start the the whole car wash business? Because I I heard that you were an electrician before and you were in the trades, and I know that everyone that's in the trades and the unions like they make really good money. Yeah. So I mean, what was it? Was it just like something that just clicked at work and you were like, I can't do this anymore. I gotta do my own thing. I you think know. I think for me, uh, so I've been doing electrical for five years. Well, go, just hit five years in August. Um, How old are my, you, by the way? Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Yeah. Nice. So, so my thing is, um, 
I, I I used to love the trade. I used to enjoy putting in the long hours, 14 hours, 16 hours, seven days a week, whatever they came, whatever it took. Mm-hmm. Wherever you sent me, I was, I loved it, bro. I, I love the passion. But I feel like over the years, I feel like I came to realize, and I've talked to older gentlemen that have been in the trade 20 years, been in the trade 25 years, retired, whatever the case is, they're not happy. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and like, I feel like I've gone to that point where I'm like, I sat back and I just thought to myself, like, I'm not happy. I'm not happy doing this for the rest of my life, and um, I feel like detailing is something that I enjoy, whether it's just hot out, cold out, There's whatever. There's something more like that yeah. catches yeah. your attention out yeah. there. And I'm, sure, glad, yeah. I'm glad you mentioned that because that's something we're trying to like make this podcast about. Because there's yeah. a lot of people that are just fucking you know like, they're fed up. they're working their nine to five, they're fed up, but they're like yeah. you know fuck, and it's a lot of risk. And there's a lot of people that have yeah. talent out there for yeah. different things, yeah, like, like, whatever it may be. Like there's such a, I mean, it's a big ass world, you know. So there's a lot of people who are going to be watching and that's what we're bringing people on for people like you who are doing it yeah to show other people you know hey you can do it yeah Yeah. put your mind to it you can do it bro it it, it really sounds mediocre but I I see it all the time I see it on vlogs I see it on videos but just um, if you put your mind to it if you really put in the work I Mm -hmm. promise you you're going to be good at it whatever it is whether it's doing floors whatever it is you put your mind to it, I promise you the outcome is going to pay off. Whether it takes a month, whether it takes a year, five years, whatever it is, you stick to the plan. You make a plan, first of all. You make a plan, you stick to it. I promise you one day it's going to help. It's going to work. It's going to work. Where's the yeah. wisdom you had to hear? Yeah, yeah. Free game. Yeah. <laughs> Free it's going to be a TikTok quote right yeah. there. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're surge at. Yeah, they cut it out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they put that, that sad that, music that, like, in Yeah. <laughs> That like uplifting sad music. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're going viral, bro. See the comments like, "Oh, you just made me tear up" or something. Yeah, yeah. I needed that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, man, getting into it. So yeah, dude, that's crazy. So you just one day you just came came to your like not your senses, but I guess you could say like you just sat down and had like a realization. Let it marinate. Thought about and it. And you were like, "Yeah, this is I love it, but this isn't this isn't what I'm made for." Yeah. Almost, I feel like. like I feel like everyone has their calling, bro. Mm-hmm. And I, I feel like, who knows, maybe detail is not my calling, but it's something that I enjoy doing. It's something I love, and it's something I see a future out of, you know? And it's, uh, I know, and even in these brutal-ass fucking hot days, yeah. dude, fuck, Even man. then, bro, I, you know, I, I thug it out, bro, because I, I love what I do. So, do, and, do you set up, like, a canopy or no, anything? Bro. No, it's all in the sun? I just, I just put on, like, yeah. one of those gardener hats, oh, yeah? maybe some sunblock, and oh. just get it going. Some man right here, Doug. <laughs> I'll give you some triactin if you want some. Yeah. It's a good feel. You ever tried triactin? No. Nah. Triactin like a man? Oh. oh I didn't, yeah, I didn't even that one. You got it. <laughs> yeah, my bad, guys. I had to switch out because Craig was shitting himself. But, um. <laughs> nah, uh, I'll come in on that podcast right now. I'm, <laughs> uh, I'm super kind of glad that you're here because, um, you know, I've, I've been on this guy for a minute. Um, we never got, like, we never seen eye to eye, we, you know, we never, like, stepped on the right foot up until, like, a few months ago where, like, you know, um, I think when I was, uh, younger, I was a little shit, so I always had, like, my big-ass mouth, got myself into shit, and probably had, like, our little things back in the day. Here but, he is yeah. with the bat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, just in case, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, <laughs> but, um, I, I feel like, a fool. <laughs> uh, nah, I feel like as we got older and shit, like, you know, you start seeing people around the city doing their own thing. Um, I mean, I've been doing the clothing business for a cool minute. And then yeah, yeah. Seeing seeing people do their own shit, like, it makes me happy because you like to see people in the community do do good things and start their own businesses and start their own hustles, you know? Like, yeah. um, we're growing up now. Um, you got kids. You, you got your own business. Create you, their own journey. Yeah, you, you've done your own thing. And, you know, um, you can never hate on a person that's doing their own shit, you know? Yeah, no, So I'm sure. kind of proud of you for doing yeah. whatever you're doing yeah. and... You know, um, as a person from looking from the outside in, you're you're hustling and doing your own shit. Um, I've known you like throughout high school and all that shit, but we never had like a real conversation as far as like like out of high school. You know, for myself, like when it's time to apply to colleges, apply to all that shit, you never like. Well, at least for myself, speaking for myself, I, I never really knew what like I was gonna do. You know, they always try to like push that school shit on you, like what's the next step like you're going what university what are you going to major in um out of high school first out of high school did you ever have an idea or did you do fucking nah, like man. i just i i feel like for me probably the first year or two after high school i was just kind of like going with the flow 
you know, it's kind of like, well, like a lot of people first in high school, they're kind of like pushed towards the norm where it's like, well, if you're not going to school, you're not doing nothing, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. If you're not doing this, you're not doing nothing. So I was kind of like, well, damn, if I'm not at, at, a, at, a, at a JC at least, like I got to be doing something. So I did, I did, I, I did that too. I went to Citrus. Um, originally, the plan was to become a registered nurse because I, I enjoyed helping people. But then, uh, but I feel like that in all wasn't uh, like I wasn't a hundred percent in. You weren't happy. I wasn't happy. Yeah. So, but also another thing was was um, I actually had to drop out of college because that's when I found out I was gonna be a father. So I went straight back to construction. So that was my whole thing in my situation. Obviously, every situation is different. But that was mine. So I felt like, uh, I don't know, bro, like a lot of things. For me, at least, like everything happened for a reason. Yeah, you got to go make that money because you have a kid coming. So yeah, yeah. The whole so, situation changed. Yeah, so I did that. I fell in love with that. But somehow that shifted me to now where I'm here five years later. And now my mind's different. My mindset's different. Now I want to do this. Never in a, believe me, bro, never in a million years that I ever think I could even say, like, I'm a business owner. Or... Even entrepreneur. think entrepreneur. Yeah. Even think about starting my own business. Never in a million years because I could have told myself the fifteen year old me would be like, "Well, you're twenty five and you have your own business. Like, let's get out of here." You know? Oh yeah, that's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Like, uh, you just talked because I was listening to you guys talk and shit. You pivoted a few times throughout your life where you took a big switch from like one thing to another. Um, and I'm pretty sure that was like life experiences or things in your life going on at that yeah. moment in time that. Yeah pushed you to somehow own, owning your own business and shit um but pe- a lot of people think that owning your own business is like the coolest thing in the world that it's easy <laughs> that fucking you're you must be a fucking baller you're making all this money i see you posting Everyone washing cars the all the time you. Yeah. Yeah. you must be making like fucking racks and shit but talk to me about the struggles opening your business uh the struggles was uh how was it like your biggest clients. struggle actually yeah. my biggest probably like well of course, it's finding clients because, I mean, obviously, you have friends I want to support, but, like, the out- outside of that, like, if you have no work to show, like, who wants to You're going you? to a stranger and they're like, what if you fucking scratch my car or something, huh? Exactly. Or, or no, I, I don't know. I, I feel like, I don't know. I, I would say, like, the, the process of buying everything, but that's part of the process, you know? Mm-hmm. I was okay with taking my time, buying everything, and, and, and doing the homework first, but... I feel like, yeah, my hardest thing would probably be finding clients, but I feel like lately I've been getting blessed, bro. I've been getting calls like crazy. Uh, I've been, Bro, since I've started my own business, I've met people. I've met complete strangers that wanted to support me 10 times faster than someone I knew or have known for years. You know what I mean? I feel like that's crazy to me because I hear that all the time. I hear it all the time. I see it on TikTok. I hear it on conversations. Oh, well, the, a stranger's gonna support you faster than, than, than your friends. Now, not in every situation is that true, but I feel like in my situation, I was like, man, I was kind of like blown yeah. away, you know? What yeah, I mean? And it does happen, like, yeah. like, I figured that out, like, going along, like, there's like the people I don't know buy like the most merch and like your home. You know what it is, though? It's because they don't know your story, if you yeah. know, like, if your homies are like, oh no, this fruit when he was a kid, fucking little punk, you know? It's <laughs> like, what does he know now about like and they almost like judge you on that based or they hate also him, on, yeah, yeah, you know? yeah but yeah that's fucking crazy and that like it's like that you know what i'm saying but um you start understanding that those people those strangers are going to be more of yeah. your friends than than your actual friends because i've had times where like i don't know about yourself but like i had homies that like haven't talked to me in years and they're like yo they'll come up to me like uh, what about we're homies you know like discount this like yeah, what's yeah. the homie discount or yeah. like oh you should practice on my car but you're already at a place where you're already doing enough cars to where like I ain't practicing no more dog what yeah, the fuck yeah, you mean yeah. but um, your your pops I know your pops is really involved in your, in your life right yeah. your family and shit like how much support did they give you when you're like oh fuck that I'm gonna leave the union which is a very settled job to like yeah I'm gonna start Steady washing cars income. and shit I feel like um at first, like, I, f- I feel like at first it's kind of like a joke. Um, yeah. I f- and the reason I say that is because, uh, like, uh, well, as far as, like, for my dad, my dad's kind of big in the union. Like, he- he's really, uh, really well known in the carpenters' union. So it's like, when I told him, I feel like construction's not for me, I want to take this leap and start my own business, he kind of just seen it as, like, it's not going to work, you know? And, uh, 
yeah, I mean, yeah, just my parents just told me that probably the first month is not going to work. But, I mean, just like I, I've told other people that I've had conversations with, like, hours of conversations, it's just like, I'm a better myself. Yeah. You know? So yeah. I, I, I did that, and now, now they're like, they see the vision. They see what could, what, they see what could, what could happen. They see how far I've gone from me, from then just me just bringing up an idea, like, hey, I want to start this. They didn't think I was going to go through with it, but hey, you know, I went through with it, and now they see the vision, now they trust the process, so. Yeah. That's cool, that, that's super cool, because I had the same experience. My mom was like, I have boxes of clothes in, in the house, she's like, why the fuck are you spending your money on this yeah, and yeah. shit? And then once, like, sh- like you show, like, results and shit as, as, as your journey goes along, people start backing you up and yeah. shit. Um, what's the biggest low ball you've had and not not mentioning anybody have you got a low ball like a like just a like shitty on a call and shit um no i haven't got low ball bro to be honest at the most like <laughs> i don't know someone would just dm me ask me for pricing and then they would just leave Never me on yeah. yeah and I, I feel like um just kind of like as a human being outside of business like just have the common like like how do you say it? a common courtesy, courtesy yeah. okay, just, back just, to you and shit. something like that just respectfully yeah. you know what i mean um but it is what it is it comes with the game like i don't i'm not gonna knock one, no one for it um but yeah I, i've never really had a uh, low ball I've, I've had someone ask me like is that the lowest you could do yeah at the most yeah. but i've never had someone like oh well can i just do this price no nah. i mean maybe i might run into that but so far three months in bro i haven't I haven't had those issues that's crazy. Back in high school, I used to work at a car wash right there on Rosemead, Lucky Car Wash. You know, by right next to the DMV in Pasadena. In Pasadena. Yeah, I used to work right there. So I have some funny stories from that shit. Like, I've had some dirty ass cars, bro, where like <laughs> yeah. motherfuckers smoked. Yeah, bro, that oh, whole shit smells like fucking smoke, and like they got ashes on the floor. Yeah, bro. Bad. You see kids throw up. You see yeah, all kinds yeah, of bro. shit. Like, what's the fucking nastiest thing you've seen? Um. You find some weird shit, bro. I found, <laughs> I found thongs and shit. Like, nah, I, I, found, see, I don't bro, know. I found all kinds of weird shit. Because I, because uh, when you first start over there, the the first thing they start you off at is at vacuum, and it's a business, so you're just vacuuming cars all day. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I found some weird shit. Found some quarters, quarters, some fifties, some AirPods. Ah, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Back in the day, it was the uh, the original fucking yeah, um, the, the yeah, yeah. Right there, the <laughs> hell yeah, um, brand new and shit. <laughs> yeah. Might have came up, might have not. You know what I'm saying? But what's the what's the nastiest shit you've seen? Like, like I had to clean up. Um, or like the worst car you've had to like detail so far. Yeah, it was, that's kind of hard, bro. I mean, I could tell you the funniest. Like one of my clients, like they left their lashes like on a water bottle. <laughs> and I was like looking at something like, what the hell is this? Um, but as far as like the dirtiest, um, I don't know. I mean, I did like a seat extraction maybe like three weeks ago. The whole back seat had like soda stains, grease stains, so some tortas, um, all kinds of stuff like that. Uh, but nothing like nothing like I, disturbing I've yet. Yeah, I haven't dealt with throw up. Um, finding like crazy items like you said i haven't done nothing like that yet yeah he hasn't found a pair of thongs <laughs> yeah you know so don't watch tiny's car bro you might find some weird shit in the back of his seat, yeah. nah but that's fucking empty dope. beer bottles <laughs> that's it uh. <laughs> <laughs> but that's my stepdad's truck dog <laughs> oh nah that's fucking cool that you, you got your own business um all or nothing all or nothing, bro. Oh, no, you, you, you said the name so far? No, I haven't, bro. Yeah, all, all or nothing. nothing. All or nothing detail on Instagram. Check me out, man. Yeah, L-A-O-C-I-E, San Gabriel Valley. I'll come You drive you anywhere? anywhere? I'll drive anywhere. Anytime. Well, not anytime, but get in contact with me. We'll work out a uh, day and time and take it from there. Use discount code at the company. <laughs> <laughs> like, nah. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> nah, that's fucking crazy. But now nah, it, it, it's kind of inspiring that... Um, and, you know, like, the reason we started this podcast was because we were trying to get people, like... To share their story. Yeah, to share their story. But not more than that. It's, like, you're you're going through your journey right now. Um, and um, you're going through your journey right now. And we want you to look back at this. Um, like I was saying, we, we want to record this because we want to get you, like, in the like beginning or middle of your journey. So that once you do own that business that you're... Um, so um, eager to get, you know what I'm saying? That when, once that does happen, you look yeah. back at this podcast and you're like, damn, like, fuck, like I was really going through all these things at that time in my life, and damn, like I've came a long way, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's the purpose of this podcast, and 
Um, and we, from all of us, we just wish you nothing but the best. Um, um, you, you should get Craig's number. That fool got fucking water stings on his car and shit. Yeah. Um, but right. he said I went a. Uh, what would you say? What car was? Fast five, bro. Fast five. Fast he said we went fast uh, five. He bro, rolled the windows he, down and shit. Yeah, he, he didn't even fucking pa- like. Well, you're supposed to drive. Right, you're supposed bro. to drive, dude. Drive your car. It's a beast, bro. Yeah, yeah, but you gotta get his number, dog. Um, but we're all gonna get your number. But yeah. um, we wish you nothing but the best. Um, Fucking, and thank you for coming on. Yeah, thank you for coming thanks on. for having thanks. me, bro. And thanks for letting me share At the story. And all the, or nothing? No uh, underscore nothing? No, no underscore or nothing. No uppercase, no lowercase. At all or nothing detail. At or nothing on Instagram. Check out his work. You know, Angel's um, going to leave it down below. But thank you guys for tuning into another podcast. Uh, check them out. Jaime Almaguer. All or nothing. Yes, sir. Wow. Thank you. Take it easy. Check me out. Tell them. I know my haters got my name in the play. This is hard to hate on the greatest. You know I'm soon to be famous. You see, I'm just barely stepping in. Fuck a record label. I'm the one who's running this. Got the city lit.